Hello beautiful people, my name is Grace Ogeoki. I like to call myself a number one Jiu Jitsu advocate. I advocate enough for people to go acquire skill. Learn skills that don't just save you money but also fetch you money. And you know by now my product is actually 48 in number that I teach people of several skills of beauty and cleaning products. Now today I'm going to be making another video on how you can make your own multiple liquid soap. I actually have several of those videos but today I decided to do another video on uh, multiple liquid soap which is actually cost effective especially for those who want to produce liquid soaps in large quantities so you'll find this video very handy so let's run down the chemicals the quantities and the price we will use to produce the six liters the first on my list is actually natural soap our taking agent is 300 grams from my area i bought it in 1400 but i'm sure maybe from your side it could be a little bit less or maybe a little bit higher but not so far off from what you have here and then the second is our caustic silver another cleaning agent 62.5 grams which is also one over 16 kg if you convert that i bought it for 15 naira in my area and then we have soda ash one and a half kg 600 naira we also have sls 500 grams 1200 we also have stpp 250 grams for 100 naira we also have sulfonic acid one liter for 1000 naira we also have texapon 300 grams for 400 naira my color of course small wrap for 50 naira my perfume 80 ml i'm mixing two different perfumes and i got it for 700 naira now a sum total of the price of what we're using today is 5500 naira now if you do the math you see that for 60 liters in producing that is 55 you see that for every 10 liters you're using less than a thousand naira to actually produce you know the multiple most liquid soap which is the cost effectiveness i was telling you about so now let's run down on the practical aspect of it the first i'm going to be using is our nitro soap this is what our nitro soap looks like in most of my videos i always explain telling you in details what it looks like so turn it open oh sorry basically what i have in here is 40 liters of water now i actually scooped out 20 liters of water to dissolve the other chemicals in here we have our scpp for four liters of water i dissolved it with um, four liters of water scpp in here we have our sls dissolved with seven liters of water in here we have our soda ash with seven liters of water and in here we have our caustic soda with two liters of water now a solid total of the quantity of water you have here is 20 liters to be precise now this is our sulfonic acid one liter to be precise now this is our texapon in here our texapon we're using 300 grams like i said and we're going to be using it well i'll mix it together with my sulfonic but you'll see that during the course of the video so like i said this is my nitro soap and then in goes our nitro soap now one of the things i always emphasize on for nitro soap is that you should never leave it unstirred as you pour you stir to avoid any form of lumps that way it will give you a smooth production so as you pour you stir so that it can quickly dissolve so you add your nitro so i've actually added all my nitro so in here and you stir for the next 20 to 30 minutes so that it can all dissolve okay it's actually been 30 minutes after since we started stirring our nitro so you can see what it looks like now and I would like to emphasize on the importance of making sure you stir your nitro soap once you start the process because any means of you trying to leave it to attend to other chemicals will definitely form lumps on it so it's important you soak other chemicals prior to when you start your nitro soap process so we're going to be going to the next chemical on our list which is our caustic soda now I also like to share with us here that I had soaked all these chemicals here the ones you can see here 45 minutes before I actually started this production so I advise you do so so you can get the best of each of these chemicals so the first thing I'm adding is my caustic soda and in here is our caustic soda soaked in 2 liters of water I'm going to be pouring it directly into our nitro soap as you pour you stir You're expected to stir this for at least 10 to 20 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes after we pour that caustic soda. The next I'm going to be adding is our soda ash. 
remember once you pour you expect it to start stirring so that is actually a perfect cleaning agent so based on the quantity you have added you expect it to have a very good outcome So I've been staring this with that for the past 20 minutes. I'd like to emphasize on something. Really, when I say stir, sincerely I mean stir. Why? Because your chemicals are expected to react accordingly. It's supposed to actually blend very well. And the only way that can happen is if you stir it very well. So please, each time I say stir, I mean stir. So the next one we're going to be adding now is our SLS. We'll stay for another 15 to 20 minutes again. So after stirring our uh, SLS for 20 minutes, the next I'm going to be adding now is our STPP. I'll just add that and stay for another 10 minutes. So we added our STPP and stirred for like 10 minutes. The next we're going to be adding now is our sulfonic acid mixed with texapon. So in here we have our sulfonic acid and our texapon. So remember we're using 300 grams of texapon and we're using one liter of sulfonic acid. So you mix the two together. Mix it till it has a good blend. You know that this is also a foaming agent. It can also serve as a booster, and it is also it can also play a role of a ticket agent. Just scoop a little here so I can get the remaining residue from this. And then we add. You can see our soap is gradually making thick again already. you're done with this and you stir your main solution you can see the role of sulfonic acid right your soap is now thick again so as you can see we have just added that sulfonic and texapon we mixed it together before we add it at this point you see what the soap looks like the thickness is good and then Basically, once you've gotten to this stage, the next thing that is expected of you to do is to actually add your color and your perfume. And I don't know, if you've not watched any of my videos before, let me explain it clearly. To get the best of your color, you mix with a little portion of water, depending on the kind of colors you want to use. So for somebody like me now, I actually intend to supply this to the next um, laundry um, shop around my area. And that's why I'm not using color. But if you want to use color in your soap, this is the time you're supposed to do it. If you want to also have varieties of color, you can actually scoop out the different soaps and then use the different colors. Remember, dilute, you mix your color with um, a little quantity of water. And then for your perfume, which is the last, you scoop out a little portion of your soap. And then you mix it with your perfume before you add. That way, it doesn't cause a certain negative reaction, like turning your soap to watery and all that stuff. But, you know, the best way to get your, your perfume in your liquid soap is actually to mix it first with a little quantity of your soap before you add. So that is that for that. We've come to the very end of this production. Remember we did 60 liters of 
multi-purpose liquid soap. This is actually cost-effective. I did this for those who want to be doing their multi-purpose liquid soap in larger quantities. So as you actually know from the beginning, I said we're going to use nine chemicals to actually get our 60 liters of multi-purpose liquid soap. And I gave us the exact prices I used, which is a something on 5,500. And we've done all that. We also did the maths to say that if you follow the same procedure, you're expected to make at least 10 liters for less than a thousand naira, and then you know 10 liters sales weigh more than that. That's the whole idea of making this particular video for most purpose of using that. It's cost effective and you also still get to make some little profit on it. So that's that about it. So I have packed, I've done this for you to actually practice. Give me your feedback and let's see, you know, the results and then let me see what yours actually look like. So we've come to the very end of this production. You just watched me actually produce 60 liters of a cost-effective multi-purpose liquid soap. I had to do this to also help people who are making liquid soap in larger quantities and also want to save cost, which is why we itemized all the chemicals, the quantities I used, and as well the prices. So, and that's basically what the training is all about. We teach you some of the skills currently. Our skills are 48 in number, beauty and cleaning products, organic and inorganic. And then uh, once you come on board, I want you to also hear me say this. You actually be receiving videos made by me. You watch me make the stage. You can see how it appears so easy. And that's what learning skills should be all about. You believing that you could do it. It's actually very easy. And that's what the training does. Opens your eyes to say that these things are not as difficult as you think they are. You'll also be receiving a 201 training manual from me. And then it's actually a comprehensive training manual that teaches you step by step how you can do all of this. And of course, you know, you'll be added to the house. The house that is full of lots of brains. Great men, great women, making us proud. Nigeria is currently hearing our voice, DIY advocates. And I really encourage you to join the movement to not just save money for yourself, but as well make money for yourself. I remain your sincerely Chris will be okay. And I look forward to seeing you in the Institute. Till I come your way again next time. Thank you and remain blessed. Bye bye.